Hey there, fellow humans. Welcome to another deep dive into the world of electric vehicles. Remember when electric vehicles were going to save the world? Those early promises painted a picture of a cleaner, greener future. They were going to be like the Tesla of transportation solutions. Sleek, sexy, and solving the climate crisis one road trip at a time. The vision was clear. A world where fossil fuels were a thing of the past. Well, buckle up, buttercup because the electric avenue is looking a little bumpy. The road to a sustainable future is not as smooth as we hoped. We're seeing a global slump in EV sales, and frankly, it's raising some eyebrows. The numbers are not adding up to the optimistic forecasts we once had. Now, I'm no expert, but I play one on TV, and even I can see that something's not quite right. The enthusiasm seems to be waning, and it's not just a minor hiccup. It's like finding out your favorite organic, gluten-free kale smoothie is actually made with unicorn tears and disappointment. The reality is hitting hard. We were promised a revolution, but right now it feels more like a flat tire on the electric superhighway. The dream is stalling and the reasons are multifaceted. So what's the deal? Why are people pumping the brakes on EVs? The hesitation is palpable and it's not just about the cars themselves. Well, folks, it seems like a perfect storm of economic anxieties, technological hiccups, and maybe a sprinkle of good old-fashioned buyer's remorse. The cost of living is rising, and people are cautious about big investments. Charging infrastructure is another hurdle. Long wait times and insufficient charging stations are making potential buyers think twice. Then there's the issue of brand trust. While Tesla has a strong following, other brands are struggling to gain the same level of consumer confidence. Battery technology is also under scrutiny. Concerns about battery life and the environmental impact of battery production are causing second thoughts. Join me as we delve into this shocking EV sales slump and maybe, just maybe, we'll find a glimmer of hope for the future of electric vehicles. Together, we'll explore potential solutions and innovations that could reignite the electric dream. Okay, let's talk numbers, people. Because nothing screams crisis quite like a good old-fashioned sales slump. And trust me, the electric vehicle market is having a moment. Even Elon Musk, the self-proclaimed techno-king of Tesla, is probably feeling a little less move fast and break things and a little more, oh dear, is that my stock portfolio on fire? Tesla, the poster child for electric cool, has seen its sales take a nosedive and they're not alone. BYD, the Chinese battery and electric vehicle giant, is also singing the sales slump blues. Even Volkswagen, a company that once tried to convince us that diesel was the future, whoops, is experiencing a drop in their electric vehicle sales. This isn't just a blip on the radar, folks. This is a full-blown trend, and it's got industry experts scratching their heads and investors sweating bullets. It seems the electric revolution might need a jumpstart, or at least a really long extension cord. Here's the thing about electric vehicles. They can be pricey, like really pricey. It's like buying a car in a small island nation at the same time. And while we all love the idea of saving the planet, not everyone can afford to shell out their life savings for an electric set of wheels, especially when gas-guzzling alternatives are looking mighty tempting at the pump. To make matters worse, governments around the world are starting to pull back on those sweet, sweet EV incentives. Remember those tax breaks and rebates that made going electric a no-brainer? Well, they're disappearing faster than a politician's promise during an election year. And with fewer financial perks, consumers are starting to question if going green is worth going broke. Let's be real, folks. Most people buy cars based on two things. Can they afford it? And will it get them from point A to point B without bursting into flames? And right now, EVs are struggling to compete on both fronts. Section 4. The China Syndrome, Cheaper EVs, Bigger Concerns Hold on to your hats, folks, because China's entering the electric vehicle arena and they're bringing their A-game. We're talking cheaper EVs, folks, like ridiculously cheaper. Think of it as the fast fashion equivalent of the car world. But instead of questionable labor practices, we've got potential privacy concerns. See, China's not just exporting cars. They're exporting advanced technology. And with that technology comes a whole lot of questions about data security and surveillance. Remember those TikTok hearings? Yeah, it's kind of like that, but instead of dancing teenagers, it's your car potentially spying on your every move. Now, I'm not saying that Chinese EVs are all bad. Far from it. They offer an affordable entry point into the electric market, which is great. But we can't ignore the potential risks either. It's like that old saying, if it seems too good to be true, well, you know the rest. 
Section 5. Battery Blues and Safety Fears, Addressing Public Concerns Okay, let's address the elephant in the room, or should I say, the battery under the hood. Electric vehicles or EVs have been hailed as the future of transportation, but they come with their own set of challenges. Because let's face it, when it comes to EVs, battery life and safety are the two biggest concerns. These concerns are not just minor inconveniences, they are significant factors that influence consumer decisions. It's like that first date anxiety, but instead of worrying about bad breath, you're worried about your car spontaneously combusting. The fear of an EV catching fire is a real concern for many potential buyers. Range anxiety is real, people. The thought of running out of battery in the middle of nowhere can be terrifying, especially when charging stations are not as ubiquitous as gas stations. No one wants to be stranded on the side of the road with a dead battery and a phone that's about to die. This scenario is a nightmare for any driver, and it's a significant hurdle for EV adoption. And then there are the safety concerns. While EVs undergo rigorous safety tests, the fear of battery malfunctions still lingers. We've all seen the headlines about EV fires, and let's just say they don't exactly inspire confidence. These incidents, although rare, have a lasting impact on public perception. Now, to be fair, battery technology is improving all the time. Engineers and scientists are working tirelessly to make batteries safer, more efficient, and longer-lasting. But so is the technology in our smartphones. And we all know how frustrating those can be. The comparison is apt because both technologies rely on similar battery advancements. Until we can get EV batteries that are as reliable and long-lasting as a Nokia 3310, these concerns are going to linger like a bad smell in a used car lot. The journey to perfecting EV batteries is ongoing, and while progress is being made, it will take time to address all public concerns fully. Despite these challenges, the future of electric vehicles is bright. With continued innovation and public awareness, we can overcome these hurdles and pave the way for a cleaner, more sustainable future. So, let's keep the conversation going, address these concerns head-on, and work together to make electric vehicles a viable option for everyone. Section 6. Green Goals, Uncertain Future. The UK's Electric Gamble. Across the pond, our friends in the UK are going all in on electric vehicles. They've got ambitious plans to ban the sale of new petrol and diesel cars by 2030. That's right, folks. 2030. That's like tomorrow in government time. Now, I applaud their commitment to fighting climate change. I really do. But this aggressive timeline has some people wondering if they're jumping the gun. What about the infrastructure, the charging stations, the affordable electric cars for the average Brit? These are all valid questions, and right now there aren't any easy answers. The UK's gamble on EVs is a bold move, and only time will tell if it pays off. But one thing's for sure, the world is watching. And if the UK can pull it off, it could be a game-changer for the future of transportation. But if they stumble? Well, let's just say it won't be pretty. Section 7. At a Crossroads Charting the Future of Electric Vehicles So, there you have it, folks. The electric vehicle revolution is facing some serious speed bumps. Despite the promising advancements and the growing interest, the journey towards a fully electric future is not as smooth as we might have hoped. From high costs and reduced incentives to battery anxieties and safety concerns, it seems like the road to an electric future is paved with more than just good intentions. The initial investment for an electric vehicle can be daunting for many, and the fear of running out of battery power without a charging station in sight adds to the hesitation. But before we all give up and buy a Hummer, let's remember one thing. The climate crisis isn't going away anytime soon. The environmental impact of our current transportation habits is undeniable, and the need for change is more pressing than ever. The smog-filled cityscapes and the increasing frequency of climate change protests are clear indicators that we need to act now. We need to find a way to reduce our reliance on fossil fuels and electric vehicles are still a vital part of that solution. They offer a cleaner alternative to traditional gas-powered cars. And with the right support and infrastructure, they can significantly reduce our carbon footprint. So, what's the answer? Well, it's complicated. The transition to electric vehicles involves more than just swapping out engines. It requires advancements in technology, changes in consumer behavior, and significant investments in infrastructure. We need more affordable EVs, better battery technology, and a charging infrastructure that doesn't make you want to tear your hair out. 
The development of new battery technologies that offer longer ranges and shorter charging times is crucial. Additionally, making electric vehicles more affordable will help increase their adoption among a broader audience. And a charging infrastructure that doesn't make you want to tear your hair out. The convenience and availability of charging stations play a significant role in the decision to go electric. Long lines and limited access can deter potential buyers, so expanding and improving the charging network is essential. We also need to address those privacy concerns with Chinese models. Ensuring that data privacy and security are maintained is vital for consumer trust. As more people become aware of these issues, addressing them transparently will be key to maintaining confidence in electric vehicles and make sure that everyone, not just the wealthy, can afford to go electric. Incentives and subsidies can play a significant role in making electric vehicles accessible to a wider audience. By providing financial support, we can encourage more people to make the switch and contribute to a greener future. The future of transportation is at a crossroads. We stand at a pivotal moment where the decisions we make today will shape the world of tomorrow. The choice between continuing with gas-powered vehicles or embracing electric ones will have long-lasting impacts on our environment and quality of life. We can either continue down the path of gas-guzzling gridlock with all the associated pollution and environmental damage, or we can choose a cleaner, more sustainable future. The consequences of inaction are clear, and the need for change is urgent, or we can choose a cleaner, more sustainable future. By investing in electric vehicles and the necessary infrastructure, we can create a world where clean, efficient transportation is the norm. Imagine cities with reduced pollution, quieter streets, and a healthier environment for all. The choice is ours, folks. Let's choose wisely. The decisions we make today will determine the kind of world we leave for future generations. By embracing electric vehicles and supporting sustainable practices, we can pave the way for a brighter, cleaner future. Let's make the